guys, it's Matt here. Welcome back to the channel. Sim Guru Ash has uploaded a poll. This was actually done last night. I was gonna include it in yesterday's video, but it was brand new. Simmers were still voting and I wanted to wait until we had more results. What kind of story should we play first in The Sims 4 Werewolves? Or give me ideas. The winning answer, and I am not surprised at all, is Greg. They are teasing this, yet once again, we still don't know who Greg is or what Greg is. But it is on this poll and it did win, or at least it's winning so far, with two hours remaining. SimGuru Ninja shares a brand new fence coming with the game pack. Spacey Sims wants to know if it's a real fence or a debug fence, and of course, Dave does confirm that it is a real fence. Weathered and rustic, this will probably be one of my new favorite fences, but also keep in mind, this isn't the only fence. Simguru Ninja replies to Dr. Gluon, you know what, there's a different fence in this pack I think you're going to use even more, so multiple fences confirmed. Simguru Ninja also shows off a new book coming with the pack in response to a tweet from Plumbella. I audibly gasp, this is my new favorite fence. He responds, I can already see it. Your sim in their quaint little cottage, looking past the fence into the yard as they snuggle up to enjoy their favorite book, and it's called Pax and Prejudice. This is adorable. Lil Simsy also noticed the little planter box outside of the window. So far with what we've seen from the blog post, in the trailer, and now of course with these little screenshot previews, I'm really living for this rustic industrial aesthetic. Yes, we have have seen it before with the industrial loft kit, but it literally fits the brand new world so perfectly. Sim Guru Bat shares a brand new top coming with the pack. Hmm, Lou handed me this t-shirt. It's not bad. Perhaps I shall give this alternative music a listen. Still prefer classical though. Yeah, they absolutely knocked it out of the park, especially with the cast yet once again. I love the little details. Look at the cuts and tears towards the top near the collar and on the sleeves as well. I do wish the bobby pins had a little more dimension. They do look a little flat, but other than that, I think it looks really, really good. Also, another higher quality look at some of the scars that appear on the Sims's face. And they did a really good job with that. Also, is that one of the brand new hairs coming with the werewolf's pack? I don't remember that one in any others. Now, here's where things get a little bit interesting. Sim Guru Bad replies to a quote quote that SimGuru Ninja made on SimGuru Bat's post about the brand new top coming with the pack. Ninja tweets, three wolves howling, classic fit. SimGuru Bat's response is definitely starting to raise questions. Now before I read this, I do want to iterate that the Sims team likes to subtly hint at things, sometimes long before they're released. We actually saw hints at the season's expansion pack as far back as when Cats and Dogs was released. And now, out of the blue, Bat responds, Three Wolf Moon is the band? I heard they were touring and San My Shuno soon. Perhaps, er, perhaps you and I can attend together, vampire and werewolf. Not that you're my friend or anything. Okay, maybe I'm reaching at this point, but out of everything, bands is what it comes from? I guess the response could be about that shirt, because judging by the back of the shirt, if you've ever bought tour merch from your favorite artist, normally on the front, it'll show the band or the artist, their name at the top in text, then on the back, it's usually a giant list of every single city that they visited. Well, if you look at this sim and you look at the back, you can see what could potentially be kind of like, you know, alternative edgy tour merch. So is Sim Guru Bat directly hinting that bands could be coming to The Sims 4 soon? Or is this just just in regards to the shirt, but then that also has me thinking. Take away Sim Guru Bat's response. Is that shirt in itself a possible hint at bands maybe coming to The Sims 4 sometime in the near future? I'm sure it wouldn't be impossible for them to actually create the mechanics for bands in The Sims 4. I mean, we know that with werewolves, we're going to have packs and the ability to form together. And I mean, look at everything that we can do with the Get Together pack released how many years ago now? And also,
so I know this might not have any direct correlation with this theory or potential hint, but we're also getting a brand new guitar with this werewolf pack as well, and it just looks very like old school punk rock. It just makes perfect sense for bands to be introduced. Obviously, they're not coming with this pack, but maybe the next game pack. I don't know. We know it's definitely one of those highly requested features or highly requested packs. Simmers ask about this a lot. I just find it very interesting that even when taking this response away, we have something that could resemble Tor merch in the game coming with this pack. And this pack has nothing to do with bands. Yes, there are packs for wolves, but I don't know. What do you guys think? Could this be a potential hint? Do you guys think it could be something that they're working on? Even other simmers are starting to question things. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say banned? Banned? It's a hint? Please tell us if it's not coming because we don't want to get delusional. And up next, Sim Guru Nova shares four brand new screenshots. I initially made this sim to test some features one day, and then once I finished, it accidentally devolved into some kind of, in quotes, fashion catalog photo shoot moment. Old habits die hard. Of course, another look at the cast. I am in love with those boots. They did an amazing job on those. More sneak peeks and views at the world and different swatches on some of the pieces that we've already seen revealed so far. Particularly love that color for the boots on this picture. And wow, absolutely love this piece. I just love the details around the belt area. Look at the folds and the ripples and wrinkles, the tucks and creases, all that stuff. They truly did a good job with Cass and most of the time they do. And lastly, another peek at the new world and a much closer look at new outfits and hairstyles coming with the game. Simguru Doi actually responds to Plumbella with another quote and we've heard the whole faded mate thing before on those cryptic teasers. This time he writes, it is a truth universally acknowledged that an alpha werewolf in possession of a good pack must be in want of a faded mate. I have a feeling this is some really deep lore we're getting and yet another hint at what we're going to find out potentially on the live stream this Friday. I noticed this in editing and absolutely had to run back to audition to record another part about Sim Guru Doi's name? Has anyone else noticed this? It reads, explore the Undoi ground with me. They confirmed in the blog post that there is some sort of underground thing that these werewolves can go to and transport, I guess, from one part of the world to another, or maybe from one neighborhood to another. At first, a lot of us were just speculating, okay, it's probably just a rabbit hole. They're not gonna make much of it, but why does he have explore the Undoi ground with me? If it's a rabbit hole, there would be nothing to explore. So now I'm really starting to wonder if they made an actual neighborhood underground. Do you guys think that's gonna be a possibility? Like an actual possibility? And maybe we're for once gonna be proven wrong and pleasantly surprised with what we get with this? I would have never expected them to do something like that if that is the case. Of course, at this time, nothing's confirmed. We might learn more about this Friday. Depends on what they have planned. But I know with Cottage Living, there was definitely a lot of corners being cut. You couldn't actually go inside those little stores and grocery shop, you had a window shop. So I just assumed, okay, this is a rabbit hole, but I don't know now, guys. It could be anything. Simguru Bat shares more in Creative Sims, of course, another look at the scars, brand new hairstyle and new outfits. I, I love this. And I love what they're doing with the tucking and folding and creasing, but noticing that happening on so many of the new outfits that are coming with this pack. You can see it again right here around the waistline on that Sims right hand side. Not our right hand side, the Sims right hand side. Trust me, I know my right from my left. Cast details look amazing as usual. And Simguru Bat tweets, well shoot, this one is quite cute as well. Wolves are actually quite adorable if you think about it. Some of you may see this as a good thing or a bad thing, but Simguru Bat did follow up with a response to this. All right, I'm done teasing y'all with previews. You will have to wait now, my children of the night until the pack comes out proper. I shall leave you thirsty and wanting. I don't know if this is a joke. I don't know if this is for real, but Simguru Bat might be done teasing us at least until the release. But I do want to thank them for what they have shared. It is very exciting to see some of the previews and an early look into what's coming with the pack. Now, before we move on to the final image, and to be honest, one of my favorites,
favorites, I do want to bring this up. It's kind of random and really doesn't have a place in a discussion video because it's something so trivial. But The Sims team really missed an amazing opportunity with trailer music. I like the song that was in the trailer and I don't know, maybe they couldn't afford it. Maybe it was just too much money because it was actually, you know, a really, really huge hit in its time. But the song Animals by Maroon 5. Come on, can we talk about the bridge going into the final chorus where Adam Levine literally does the howl? That song would have worked so perfectly for this trailer. I just don't know how they went with anything but that song. Like, it would have fit so perfectly. But like I said, it could have been a budgeting issue. I'm sure that when they use songs that aren't as popular from smaller artists, it's probably a lot more affordable for them than using, you know, a smash hit song. I want to hear your thoughts on that and also if you could envision or hear any other song with that trailer, what song would it be? Now we move on to another image, this one brand new coming in just a few minutes ago from Sim Guru Kimmy. Uh oh, this werewolf has a bone to pick with Sim Guru Bat. Careful little vampire. They're a first to be reckoned with. The anger, aggression, and hostility is definitely coming off very strong with this werewolf in this particular moment. I love the effects that are coming off of this wolf as well. Seeing that they have toe beans, seeing the claws, I really, really am looking forward to this pack. All right, guys, that is going to be it for now. Of course, if there's any more, I will be back as soon as possible with any updates on previews or information. Let me know what you guys think about the potential hinted bands. I thought that was very interesting. Sometimes when we get hints and clues from them, guys, it always comes out of left field. So it's possible it could be a clue or it could not be. Share your thoughts on that as well as all the other brand new previews and information that we've learned in this video. I love you. Take care. Happy simming. Starting now and for every single upload in June during Pride Month, I'll be raising money for the Born This Way Foundation. In case you didn't know, the Born This Way Foundation supports the mental health of young people and works with them to build a kinder and braver world. Through high impact programming, youth led conversations and strategic cross sectorial partnerships, the foundation aims to make kindness cool, validate the emotions of young people and eliminate the stigma surrounding mental health. You can learn more at bornthisway.foundation. This video was brought to you by my supporters on Patreon. Thank you guys so, so much for your support. If you'd like to join my community over there, a link is below. Thank you for watching.